Hey guys, this is Akshay here from Gadget Diary and today we are going to do a big comparison between four different smartphones. We were getting a lot of requests to compare one smartphone with another in budget segment. We were getting requests to compare Redmi 4 with 4A, 4A with Eureka Black, Eureka Black with Moto C+, Moto C+, with Redmi 4 or 4A. So we decided to do a single video among these four devices. We have Redmi 4 smartphone with us. We then have Moto C Plus smartphone with us, which will uh, remain at second position uh, throughout the video. The first device will always remain uh, the Redmi 4. The third device will always be Redmi 4A. And the final uh, device, that is the fourth device, will always be Eureka Black. This is uh, just to make sure during the video, if we don't mention uh, the name, but we are pointing towards any particular device, we won't be changing the order of these devices throughout the comparison video. So talking first about the design and build quality, Redmi uh, 4 comes with a metal construction. This is the 3GB variant available for around 9,000 Indian rupees. It looks nice and uh, sturdy enough in hand. Then we have the Moto C Plus, which comes with a plastic construction. You can remove the back panel of this smartphone and you can remove the battery. So it's meant for the users who want a removable battery. The uh, grip is uh, nice, but it does not feel as solid as the metal smartphones. Then we have another metal smartphone that is Redmi 4A. And finally, we have the Eureka Black, which is available in this chrome uh, black finish. And it looks really nice. Uh, you can see the back looks uh, really glossy and interesting. So uh, for our choice, uh, we say that in terms of design, they are all equally good. You can choose for either one. They have different designs. Redmi 4, 4A are very similar, except that there's no fingerprint on Redmi 4A when compared to Redmi 4. In terms of build quality, you do get metal construction on Redmi 4, 4A and Eureka Black. You also have Corning Gorilla Glass on Eureka Black. One thing, uh, uh, one small minor issue with Eureka Black is though it looks really beautiful, it does get scratched on the back. So it is advisable to use a case or cover with this smartphone. So if you want a metal smartphone, you can go for these three, uh, that is Redmi 4, Redmi 4A or Eureka Black. If you want a plastic uh, body which can be open from the back and you can remove the battery, then you do have Moto C Plus as an option. Now moving on to the display, all the four smartphone offers you a five inch display. Again, there's a small difference uh, in one of the smartphones. You get a 5-inch HD display on Redmi 4, 4A, Moto C+, but you get a full HD display. Yes, a full HD display on Eureka Black smartphone. And you can see the colors on these devices. They all are kept on nearly equal brightness, that is 50%. I'll increase the brightness to maximum level on all the four smartphones so that you have an idea about the brightness level as well. So now they all are on maximum brightness and we feel that the Redmi 4A uh, is slightly more brighter than among uh, the rest uh, smartphones. So uh, you can see the brightness and compare these dif uh, displays in the, in the video. In terms of color reproduction and overall uh, display quality, all the display seems to be working fine. Even these three uh, are HD displays but we didn't face any pixelation or any sort of issues on these displays but if you have to pick a winner we'll say Eureka Black is the winner because it comes with a full HD display which offers you higher resolution when compared to other three displays. Additionally it also has Corning Gorilla Glass protection. These three also have some sort of uh, anti scratch resistant glass. We tried scratching them but we were not able to but we can't confirm as of now whether any one of these has a Corning Gorilla Glass or not because it was not specified. Now let's talk about the hardware and the performance. Redmi 4 smartphone comes with Snapdragon 435 processor. It scores 42,000 plus in the N22 benchmark. And here are the other specifications. It comes with 3 gigs of RAM, 32 GB of storage. And here are the list of sensors. It has all the major sensors. You have accelerometer, you have gyroscope sensor, light sensor, etc. So let me keep that aside. Then you have Moto C Plus, uh, which comes with MediaTek MT6737. It scores 29,000 in the N22 benchmark. And here are the other details. It comes with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of storage. And in terms of sensors, it only offers you accelerometer. Uh, that is the acceleration sensor and no other sensor is present on this device. Then we have the Redmi 4A smartphone, which comes with Snapdragon 425 processor. Again, you can see all the specifications. It comes with 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of storage. And if you want to know the list, 
you have accelerometer it does not have ambient uh, temperature which is fine no other device offers it you have gyroscope sensor light sensor and most of the other sensors as well finally you get the redmi 4 uh, sorry eureka black smartphone which scores 44000 maximum among these four and we ran, ran the benchmark multiple times every time this was the uh, highest scoring device among these four and here are the detail specifications again it comes with 4 gb of ram this time so it offers you maximum ram among these four devices 32 gb of storage in terms of sensors it does offers you uh, main sensor like accelerometer and then you have the gravity sensor geomagnetic sensor but it is missing gyroscope sensor then again you have light sensor and other sensors so the vr content uh, smoothness is not uh, very much on this device and it won't support few of the uh, vr applications as well so in terms of performance uh, redmi 4 and eureka black offers you similar performance in terms of gaming multitasking etc then followed by redmi 4a and finally the moto c plus but moto c plus comes with the stock android experience so it does offers you a normal user experience and it can run day-to-day -day applications but when it comes to multitasking and gaming Eureka Black or Redmi 4 uh, should be your preferences uh, if you are a gamer for day-to-day -day application they all are decent enough to run day-to-day -day applications. In terms of software you get the latest Android Nougat on Moto C Plus whereas you get the old versions uh, along with some modifications by the company Redmi 4 and 4A are highly customized MIUI from the company whereas you get slightly modified uh, UI from the company and Eureka will get Nougat update in July as promised by the company but if we look at the software as of now if you want customization options you should uh, check out Redmi 4 and 4A but if you want the stock Android experience Moto C Plus should be your choice it offers you the best stock Android or the pure Android experience you can find in the market. Moving on to the camera part, you get a 13 megapixel camera, the back camera on Redmi 4, 4A and Eureka Black whereas you get an 8 megapixel shooter on Moto C Plus and in terms of front camera you get 2 megapixel shooter on Moto C Plus followed by a 5 megapixel uh, shooter each on Moto on Redmi 4 and 4A and an 8 megapixel shooter on Eureka Black. In addition to that you get the front facing flash on Moto C Plus and Eureka Black smartphones. So let me just show you a few sample images which we have captured using the front cameras of these devices so I hope you are able to see the front camera samples of all the four devices and if you have to pick one again the uh, competition will be between uh, Redmi 4, 4A and the Eureka Black in terms of details and low light performance uh, will go with uh, Eureka Black but the color reduction was better in case of Redmi 4 smartphone and you can see the samples in all these images now moving on to the back camera sample the back camera works well on most of these uh, smartphones but uh, Moto somehow has slightly uh, brighter images maybe the light was slightly different and one more sample in terms of uh, clarity and the color reproduction you can see uh, Redmi 4, 4A and Eureka Black are close followed by Moto C Plus so Eureka Black uh, and Redmi 4, 4A offers you similar camera experience so let's uh, move on and let's talk about other features of these devices you get a fingerprint sensor on redmi 4 and eureka black but no fingerprint sensor on redmi 4a or moto c plus which are available for like 2000 and 3000 uh, cheaper when compared to these two devices so that's perfectly fine if you want to go for higher value devices you can uh, get the fingerprint sensor but if you are for moto c plus or the redmi 4a you won't be getting a fingerprint sensor now let's talk about the battery you get a foot 4100 mAh battery on Redmi 4A, a 4000 mAh battery on Moto C+, a 3120 mAh battery on Redmi 4A and finally a 3000 mAh battery on Eureka Black smartphone. So in terms of battery life, clearly uh, Redmi 4 and Moto C Plus are the winners. Uh, Moto C Plus offers you two days of battery backup, same goes with Redmi 4 followed by Redmi 4A because it has HD display and roughly around 3100 mAh battery then you have full HD display but a 3000 mAh battery. So in terms of best battery performance uh, Redmi 4A and Moto C Plus leads uh, when compared to other devices. Now uh, another interesting thing is that you get hybrid slot on Redmi 4, 4A and Eureka Black where as you get a dedicated sim card slot on Moto C Plus smartphone.
So that's all for this video. Do let us know which is your favorite smartphone or which smartphone would you like to buy by leaving a comment below. And if you ask us if you want a smartphone which offers you stock Android experience, which offers you a big battery and which offers you a dedicated micro SD card slot, then you can go with Moto C Plus. It offers you a good software experience, big battery and dedicated micro SD card. If you want a smartphone which offers you really nice and interesting design, which offers you full HD display, Corning Gorilla Glass protection and good performance, then you can go with Eureka Black. And if you want a smartphone which offers you big battery, uh, nice display, good performance, then you can go with Redmi 4. And if you are looking for the most affordable among these three, Redmi 4 a is the most affordable one. It still offers you good design and build quality, but does not offer you a fingerprint sensor. So if you have a very limited budget of 6000, then you can go for Redmi 4A. We have also done a separate uh, detailed review between Redmi 4 and the Eureka Black. You can check out that video as well. That's all for this video. Do hit that, that subscribe button present just below the video and thanks for watching.